Into a heated pan, pour three tablespoons of oil. Then add in a tablespoon of finely chopped garlic. Let the heat be on low. Saute the garlic until it is light brown. This will take a few seconds. Then add in one and a half teaspoons of chili flakes and continue sauteing it for a few seconds. You can adjust the quantity as per your taste. The next step is to add a glass of water into the pan. Give this a good stir and let the water boil. You can increase the heat at this stage. Once the water starts boiling, we will stir the mixture once again before lowering the heat. Then we will add a cup of rice flour. This is approximately 100 grams of rice flour. Mix the rice flour well with the chili garlic mixture. When the flour has absorbed all the water, turn off the heat and transfer this mixture to a bowl. Let this cool down for some time. Now is the time we will add the mashed potatoes into this. Then add in a teaspoon of salt or adjust it according to your taste. We have to boil the potatoes and then grate it or either mash it and add it. I have used two potatoes, you can use one more if you want to. Now mix this mixture well using your hand. We have to form a dough, so continue kneading it until it forms a dough. Then add in two tablespoons of corn flour to make the dough more firm. Corn flour is added to thicken the dough. On the other hand, if your dough is too thick or dry, then you can add in some water. Finally, add in a teaspoon of oil over the dough and spread it across. This is to smoothen out the dough. Now divide it into portions. Roll it into a ball using your hands and keep these aside. I have divided the dough into six portions. Now grease your hands with oil. Roll the dough into a cylindrical shape. I prefer small potato bites, so I have rolled it not into a very thin and not a very thick cylinder. If you want bigger bites, then keep the roll thick. Now start dividing it into small portions. Adjust the size as per your wish. Shape these into cubes. Repeat this procedure for the rest of the potato balls. Transfer all these cubes into a container. You can store these potato bites in the freezer for about 3 to 5 days. I have got a box full of these bites and I will be frying only a few of them. To do so, heat a kadai with oil and add in the potato bites. Let the heat be on high. You can switch to medium as and when necessary. Deep fry these chili garlic potato bites until they turn golden brown in color. As you can see, they have turned into a nice golden brown color. So we will reduce the flame and remove these and transfer it to a plate. Keep tissues on the plate so the excess oil from these bites can be absorbed. Look at how crispy they look. You can enjoy it with ketchup or mayonnaise. Every bite is crunchy and it tastes just like the McCain potato bites. Enjoy!